Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now I just finished my video comparison regarding the B-Link GT1 Ultimate and the B-Link GT1 and I'll post some links right over here just in case you want to check that out. I also have the Elephone S3 right over here that I've been using for quite some time and I'm happy with it uh, and I'll be using it just for a few comparisons here in a few moments. Now the point of this particular video is simple. I want to share with you my opinion regarding the amount of RAM necessary to have on Android TV box uh, to have a pleasant experience without sacrificing our way of using the machine but on the other hand also without spending more than we should. That being said let's go straight for the video hope that you guys enjoy it and as always I'll see you in a few seconds. And we are back. Now before we move on to the topic itself, let me just share with you that in the past I viewed some media players since I can recall and some of them, or at least the first one that I can recall, it had a closed uh, software and firmware from one of the brands that developed and then after that I had a Linux box uh, from Xtremer, uh, the first generation Xtremer uh, signed Winder uh, which had 256 megs of RAM and then I had another uh, Linux box with 512 and the first Android TV box that I had uh, with 1 gigabyte of RAM was back in 2012-2013 the Minix X5 Mini which was a great machine back then was a crazy transition from Linux to Android which is what we are using uh, these days and really great machines. Now this to mention that back then one gigabyte of RAM was not that much but it was more than enough for what we did with uh, these machines. Now in nowadays we have so many apps that we can use on uh, Android TV boxes and also on the phone that one gigabyte is not really enough and this is the first uh, point that I would get is when you ask me hey Robert what is the minimum uh, amount of RAM that I should get my straight answer is 2 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough at this moment to get a great experience from any of these machines. And when you ask me why, I would say that 1 gigabyte of RAM is almost used by the uh, background apps that are running to keep the system working. Uh, not a full gigabyte, but roughly 500, 600 megabytes. So we will have uh, roughly 200 or 300 megabytes. And I'm not doing the math wrong. Just keep a watch <laughs> on your Android TV box using CPU Z and you will see uh, the amount of RAM used. So to try and keep things simple, one gigabyte of RAM will be enough if you want to use an Android TV box with one single app. Let's say that you want to use that particular box with just Kodi uh, or just Netflix or just YouTube and that is it. You don't want to multitask and when I mean multitask in this kind of machine is uh, use several apps and then swipe from one to another, change from Kodi to Netflix and from Netflix to, uh, Netflix, sorry, to uh, YouTube and so on and so forth. With one gigabyte of RAM you will be limited. You will feel the machine slow. So the two gigabytes of RAM are the ideal to have uh, at least five or six or seven apps open on the background without noticing any lag whatsoever. So uh, at this moment of the video uh, you can see that the two gigabytes of RAM is what I do suggest at this moment and especially because we have reached the moment in terms of apps that are not taking advantage uh, of the more uh, processing power and the more RAM that we have on our systems. Now I do have the phone here just to show you that or to try and share with you my opinion and some facts which is the phone I can see why uh, some brands are implementing four five and six gigabytes of RAM especially because we do tend to do a lot more multitasking on a phone than we tend to do on an Android TV box so and, and even there uh, we have to have in mind the software and firmware integration of the phones because there are some phones with six gigabytes of RAM that will work worse than some phones that have two then especially because uh, or mainly because of the firmware and software integration of those two different systems. Just browse the web, you'll find a lot of examples about that. So guys, trying to uh, conclude this particular video, one gigabyte of RAM will leave you uh, one or two apps on your Android TV box and you will feel the machine a bit slow. Two gigabytes of RAM, in my opinion, it is the sweet spot and then three, four, five, six, well, five, no, but six gigabytes of RAM will be a waste of money at this moment because the apps are not keep, keeping up uh, with the 
hardware performance that we have at this moment which is great in terms of hardware but if you ask my opinion do you really need an S912 uh, from AM Logic or 3399 from Rockship to run uh, the apps that we do run not really because we can't take advantage if you uh, take a look at the S905 and compare it with the S912 you will see that the both machines they have different socks one superior to the other but in terms of raw performance they will be the same and in terms of the RAM, it is exactly the same. 2 gigabytes of RAM or 3 gigabytes of RAM or 4 gigabytes of RAM, you barely will notice the difference. Actually, I would risk to say that 95% of the users will not notice anything at all. Guys, hopefully this video will help to uh, take up some of the questions that you guys asked me on the channel and to decide which box uh, you will get with 1 gigabyte of RAM, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of RAM. And hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And if you did, so don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.